Hi guys, in this video I will talk about how you can do univariate and bivariate analysis uh, particularly by the using ggplot2 library. So let's get started. When you start your data science project, these things first you need to do. Uh, univariate analysis, it means that uh, understanding the single variable. Bivariate analysis means understanding uh, two, two variable. First, let's discuss the univariate analysis. Uh, in univariate analysis, uh, suppose uh, if the data is continuous data, you can understand the continuous data by plotting histogram or box plot. If the data is categorical data, you can understand by table function uh, which is available in R. Now let's come to bivariate analysis. If you want to understand the relationship between continuous data and continuous data, uh, you can understand by plotting scatter plot. And similarly, if, if you want to understand the continuous and uh, categorical data, you can understand by plotting box plot. Similarly, categorical data and categorical data, you can understand by to making two way table if data set is very small uh, you just uh, you can understand just by looking at it but uh, if the data set is very huge then you can't get insights from data by just looking at it that's where data visualization play a crucial role to understanding the data set i hope you understand so this is Ravi and he want to, uh, this is the data set of Kaggle housing. This is the, actually a, a, what is the task is that you, you have to predict the sale price. It is a regression program and this data set is available in the Kaggle website. Now what he want to do first, he want to look at the dependent variable. What is the distribution of dependent variable? For that what he do, he making a histogram so this is the command he have he have to write when you run this command what happened that it select the sale price column then it plot a histogram for you these things i discussed in my previous video please go and watch it what is the what is if what is the meaning of skewed similarly it works on categorical data you can visualize like that now let's come to bivariate analysis. Suppose he want to understand the relationship between lot area and sale price. So this is the hypothesis that if the lot area is bigger then there may be chance that uh, there will be the higher price of a uh, uh, house. This is very obvious things. So for testing his hypothesis what he do he making a scatter plot by using ggplot2. When you run this command, what happened that it select the two variable lot area and sale price. And when uh, it run, it create a graph for you. As you can see that 99% of data is below 50,000 square feet. And I don't think this is the strong relationship at all. And lot area variable is not important for predicting the uh, sale price so as you can see that by looking at the graph you can understand the importance of variable which in independent variable is important now let's go forward so now let us suppose that he want to understand the relationship between utilities variable and sale price sale price is a dependent variable and i will i explain the what what the utilities mean utility means the facilities available in the house so l all pub means electricity is available water is available gas is available and uh, s means sewer tank is available for it is just like a dustbin tank for your house this is very obvious things that if the all the facilities is available in the house there will be the higher price of there will be the chance of getting higher price of particular house elo means electricity only and no sewer means it means that only in house there are three things is available except uh, 
sewer tank what is our hypothesis if the facilities is available all the facilities there will be the higher price of uh, house so i he just test it by writing this command when you run this command what happened that it cleared so now you can see that by by looking at the box plot uh, your hypothesis is correct so like that you can analyze the data set by by using ggplot2 these all things i show you in r i opened the r studio first i activated the tidyverse library library is activated now i am imported the data set what i am doing i just combine the test data set and uh, uh, train data set and test data set. that's it now i am doing univariate analysis so uh, i just uh, i want to see the overview of dependent variable sales price when you run this what happened that it will create a, a histogram for you as you can see that so this is the right skewed now i want to see the relationship between continuous data and continuous data for this i am making a scatter graph so as you can see that uh, this is the scatter graph you got and these things i explained in the slide i am an understanding a continuous data the relationship between continuous data and categorical data so i just run it so box plot is you got box plot and as expected our hypothesis is correct if the facilities is available the sale price is high so this is the important independent variable for predicting the dependent variable you can understand uh, categorical the relationship between categorical data and categorical data uh, by using table function so as you can see that in below uh, if the gravel uh, gravel it, this is the relationship between la la means the street side street okay and this gravel means the street uh, this is the open street where you can find uh, open area and you see lots of trees and uh, things like that but what is the meaning of pave pave means paved la paved la means it is a closed area you can think as a the street between the building so as you can see that in this particular data set uh, 120 is a house house number it is the number of 120 house house which have uh, all the facilities as well it has graveled la similarly uh, 78 you can think like that it is just a overview of univariate and bivariate analysis all these things i will explain in my uh, in detail in my up upcoming videos for now thank you